Okay guys, so you know I've been playing uh Cash Boy event, which is NCAA Football 14, like a modern version of it for a while. And I got the playoffs going in it, the utility tool. I didn't download it because I haven't played in a while, so this would be a good time to make a tutorial on it, I thought. Anyways, so I'm gonna, this is gonna be a video on how to like I guess update it and just in general just download it in the first place because it's doing the same thing. You can download. Yep, and save. There it is. If you don't have um, if you don't have this installed, you probably don't. Just go to the link in the description and go to this GitHub place. This link. I'm installing it. I don't do that. I already have it installed. Um, and then you just drag it. You'll get this zip file. Uh, you want to unzip it using WinRAR or whatever you have extracting. Okay, so it's gonna have the tool editor. Read me is has a bunch of useful stuff and read it. Um, I suggest doing it. I've already done it. Uh, so I want to thank this guy, the beating by twenty one. He is super good. Of course, everyone else too, but this is the main guy. Uh, just saying, so great credit to him. Anyways, so now you have the uh, order. Double click on it. Yes. Install. It's gonna do some stuff. Just saying, this is 100% safe. I've been using it for a long time and no issues. Doesn't show the computer down. It's just this yes, again. I'll just keep hitting yes, pretty much, and do it. So, with this tool, you can uh, make the partial playoffs happen. You can do a 14 playoff or an 18 playoff, depending on what you want. A uh, pool editor, which is you can do this whenever you want to. Um, you can just change the pools, BCS pools, media pools, and the coaches pool. Uh, DB editor, it's like a really in-depth modding thing is what they used to do. Very complicated, I don't, I don't even know how to do it. Um, but it's just, if you know what you're doing, you can do it, but it's just there. And this is if you're on PC. This tutorial is only for PC, by the way. Um, I don't have, I, I don't know how to do any of the other ones. Anyways, um, I'll show off how you use this tool. In the first place, and yeah. Okay, so I've loaded into my um dynasty, which is now going to be called dynasty. Uh, what we call the championship. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to advance the week for the ball season. That's where you actually use this tool to edit stuff. And I just want to do the rankings. You can edit the rankings in any week as long as you save it. I'll go and I'll go into that how to do that as well. Okay, so now we're in the ball season or the ball week. Um, and as we tell. The game is setting up in South Carolina, which would be the old BCS National Championship. Um, I would prefer to use the newer system with uh, playoffs, of course. I think it's just great. So you guys can see, if if I wanted, if like, there's actual playoffs, it'd be Bama, North Carolina, LSU, USC, the top four teams. Um, in case you wanted, like, it's the Iowa, they lost to Penn State. So unless you wanted to throw them in there, you can. And, yes, yeah, so you can adjust all the rankings and stuff. And... Yeah, so we make the ball season. This is where you the, the ball week. My bad. This is where you don't do anything else. You just stop and you close out of um you close out of the like app, I guess. Okay, so this is where you run the utility tool. You just double click that. Yes, it's gonna open up. Uh, you're gonna hit uh four. I like using four editor first, but you can do whatever you want. So this is how you're gonna edit the rankings. So you just go to four editor, and you have to find your file. Okay, so to get to that, you have to go to your downloads. You have to find your alpha CS3 file. Double click on that. <clears throat> go to uh, dev underscore hdv0. Home. The one file. Save data. And you have to find your dynasty. Mine's named Alabama1. So that's the click on that. And then you have to find your user data. This is where you're going to find. So, uh, personally, I would like making backups of it. Um, just in case. <clears throat> okay, now I have my two backup folders, so you're just going to double click on, um, USL de user data. It's going to load. It might take a while, it might not take long, you know, so it depends on your computer. Okay, so here is the, uh, playoffs. You can see we have the top 25, like it was, uh, you can see how I was losing their, uh, Big Ten Championship game, and then down three slots. We have all this, all top 25 teams, and even all the way up to 126 teams. Um, it's pretty in depth. 
And yeah, the BCS poll, the coaches poll, and the AP media poll. This is pretty much the cultural playoff poll. This is the number one you want to get. Number one poll you want to edit. And the top two teams are pretty clear. Um, it's just other teams you might want to mix around here, move the bus up, uh, move them down. You can just drag and drop teams like that. You can use the arrows. Um, if you have a direct team to switch up, I could say, <clears throat> I want, let's click on delay, and let's just, you can, if you click on their logo, you can find any team in the, every team in the game, and it'll just say, I want you to be the builder, it switches the team out. Um, and it, it'll move, uh, the team I switched on, which is Tulane, it'll move them down to wherever UAB was. So whenever you, you finish, like, make sure you edit all these polls, or, like, if you want to. Don't, like, and then you save it. Make sure you edit them all, and then you save. Don't edit, save, edit, save. Just make sure you get them all done, and then you save it. And then we'll go this is all icon. Okay. And now it's save. You can back out of it. And then you want to actually do the cultural playoffs. So, from the playoffs... 14 or 18. I'm going to do 14 the first example. I'll do 18 next. Um, so 14. So step one, setting up the playoffs matchups. Easy to set. Step two is that championship. Step three is the all show. So click first, click step one. And you're going to get your user data file, which you should already have it saved. Okay, so it has this little graphic. Um, for the playoffs. If you don't like these teams, even though you've done the editor or the polls, you can just click on the team, like USC, and you can just click any other team you want to swap them out with. Um, then you can also even change the ball games. So if I want to make the balls different, like I want to make this the Rose Bowl, because USC is playing in it, I can do that. I'm going to make this the Peach Bowl. Why not? You can do whatever you want. Uh, I'm not sure to keep this a Rose Bowl game, because I feel like USC, they might have some Rose Bowl history. Um, and then you're going to the next button. And you have to sort of move it up and just show you save it. You can also uh, take a screenshot of it if you want to make like a for well, YouTube something, I don't know. And if you don't like this and you want to edit it, you just uh, you can just go back to editing mode and edit it and then you just go on and save it. Now you have the bowl season. So you can switch up every single bowl matchup. Like say I don't want Army being there, I want it to be in a matchup. Just do the team. Switch them up for anything. You change the ball games. Well, you can't. Change. You have every ball game, and you can switch out the teams. Like let's say I want to move Notre Dame and Army switch them up. Click on matchup. Click on Notre Dame on Army and find Notre Dame. Here, yeah. well, it's also an alphabetical order. Good. And look, Notre Dame's up here, and now Army's on. You're gonna have a placeholder matchup over here. So this is for the championship game. Uh, it doesn't matter about these teams. They won't play a playoff game or anything. If you do it correctly, and then you have your two playoff games. And you just save that if you like it. It's been saved. Don't close out of it. I suggest I suggest just backing out. And then when you get to the screen, then you close out of it. Now you want to go back and run your culture ball game. Okay, so now back in the game, you can see we're playing USC. And then you go to. Okay, so now you know everything's correct. I actually have the playoffs, so you can play your game. Um, which is like what most people would probably do. Uh, if you're using a sim franchise or something, just go to, just sim the game or play it. Don't sim the, okay, just don't sim, don't advance week. Don't do that at all. Okay, I'll tell you when you, that's like after step three. So just play your game or s simulate your game without advancing the week. Usually if you want to do that, just go to, um, go to scores and sch scores dash schedules. <clears throat> you want to find your game, which is like here at the top one. And then you're going to find the other playoff game, which is North Carolina and LCU, if I can find them. There they are. You find these two games, and you simulate them, so I'm going to sim this game. Yes. And he wins. Uh, North Carolina blows them out. And then you want to sim no game, you can sim it just like, something like that, or you can actually play it. And Alabama gets blown out by USC. I don't see that being that accurate, but okay. So now you have both of those games simmed. You don't want to advance week, you just back out of the game. And now you want to open up your utility tool again. And you want to go to the cost World Playoffs. 14. Step 2. Setting up the National Championship, click on that. Open file. User data. And it knows USC won the first game, North Carolina won the other game. 
And then now you have your championship. You can choose a location. So it's in Phoenix. You can make it any location you want out of all these. So I'll just make it the Mercedes Benz Super Dome. Why not? Make sure these two teams are the correct teams. And then you save it. And then you just back out to the bottom left corner. Get to the screen, then you X out. You load back up college for events. Okay, so if you're the losing team in the playoffs, the placeholder teams go and play against you. Um, this is just the, this is what, how it happens, but you just go to, um, <clears throat> you go to the scores and schedules. You'll see as Troy disposing of the USC. And, um, UCF, USF just fills in for LC. And then there's the actual championship game, which you can tell is USC North Carolina. You're going to go sim that game or play that game, whatever you want to do. I'm going to sim it. And North Carolina wins 24-44. Or 36-31. Um, they menu, and then you can just close out of your game again. You can open up the utility tool again. Cultural playoffs. Full team playoffs. Step 3. Just to finalize it. Open file, use the data, you know the drill by now. Okay, so you can tell North Carolina was the champion. USC came second. This is how it works. Save it. Save. Back out. Like always. Then you just X out of it. And go back into the game. Okay, so now you go back into the thing. And now you can see it has USC reading out of them again. Go to schools and schedules. It'll show North Carolina beating LC in the playoffs. And then the championship, North Carolina beating USC. So you know it all worked. Now you can feel free to sim the week. Okay, so now if you want to do an 18 playoff, this is how you're going to do it. I just got one of my backup files and put it in so it's going to be back at the bowl season. Then go to the cultural playoffs. This time I'm going to do 18 playoff, obviously. From that, there's going to be an extra step. But anyway, step one, first thing I'm going to do. So, from that, open file, find your file. Uh, should be the same dynasty for doing it US all data. Okay, so this is what the playoffs look like right now. The default or the uh winner of each conference, I believe. So you can see Bama, North so SC, ACC. I think I moved Missouri to the Big Twelve. I changed Actually I have no idea. This is what it is. You can change the teams out like normal, like Tulane probably shouldn't have made it. I think they were like the 23rd seed, so switch them out with a team that's better, like Iowa. Um, I know Auburn had a really good season, so I'll switch them out over here. And I don't know really about the teams you can change, of course, the ball games, of course. Like if I make this Rose Bowl, it'll switch. That's the only thing you have to make sure you change those up, make it all different balls, just like that. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not a fan of having the same team in the same conference as Pitcher, so I'll just move Oregon and Penn State, just switch them around. Okay. And once this is good to go, you just click the next thing. Now, as you can see, I have the cotton ball as the same ball, so it tells you switch that up, it's not going to work, so I hit OK. Then you just find the ball you have been used. Nope. And then you hit next. It'll go up here. Take a screenshot if you want to. Whatever you want, just save it. All right, the bowl season, you can see your, your playoff matches all locked in. The placeholders, like last time. You can change these up if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Um, there's actually multiple placeholder teams, you can see there's three, because there's not three placeholders for each playoff game. So it's, it's really in depth, but trust me, it's easy. You can again change up your bowl games, however you want to do it. I don't care. These are fine. Save it. Or well, what is this? Oh yes. One thing I forgot to mention last time. This thing up here. It shows the top twenty-five. Just to make, just so you know. Also, it shows these teams as top twenty-five. But just if you want to know what it is, literally flesher. You need to save it. You saved. Back out. Open up your. Game again. Okay, so you can see how you play Iowa. You go to scores and schedules, and you're gonna have there's the Rose Bowl game, which okay, is Auburn, North Carolina, Oregon, LCU, Penn State, USC. So you have those three games. Okay, so you're gonna sim all of those games. Okay, so Auburn beat North Carolina, 
Colgan beat LSU and Penn State, L and USC beat Penn State. Then you're gonna go up to your other your personal game. You can play it or you can just sim it. I'm gonna sim it for the sake of time. Alabama loses again. This game has something against Alabama. They went 13-0. I'm not gonna question it. It's fine. You back out of that. And then like normal, do not advance week. It just comes out of your game. Then you open up the playoff utility tool. Push for playoffs. 18. Step 2. Open file. User data. It's very repetitive, but you'll get used to it. It's pretty simple. I like, it's extremely simple compared to what they used to do with the DB editing. This the man who made this being as we won amazing. So you can see it picked up all the war games, it knows who won. I think with that, you're just gonna save it. It's saved, back out, and you're gonna go back into your dynasty. Okay, so you're back in. Uh you can see play solo game. Right here in Alabama, go to scores and schedules. You're gonna go find the actual playoff game, so Auburn Oregon. You're gonna simulate it, and Iowa USC. Auburn beat Oregon 31 20, and USC beat Iowa 38 33. Now you're gonna back out of the game again. Don't sim in, don't advance the week, just back out. You're gonna open up the utility to Oregon, go to Cultural Playoffs. 18, step 3, open file, user data. Okay, you can see the entire bracket. Oh, USC and Auburn advanced in the championship. Choose a stadium. You can do whatever one you want. Just leave it at Phoenix this time. And then, whenever you're ready, you just save it. And you're going to back out and go back into your dynasty. Back in my dynasty, go to score the schedules like always. You're going to find your ball games. You're going to find the championship game. Auburn at USC. You're going to sim it. C1. Auburn 141 29. That doesn't pain me at all. Hmm. Anyways, now you're gonna back out and you're gonna close out of the game again. Okay, get to the cost of playoffs. 18, step 4, open file, use the data. Okay, and you can see all of the champion. And then you're just gonna save it. That they saved, you're gonna back out. And go back into the dynasty. Okay, so now that you finalized everything, it'll show you the Playoff games, all of them will be intact. See, I didn't lock in against Iowa like it happened in the simulation. You can find the other playoff games as well, like um, Auburn beating Oregon in the semifinals or the quarterfinals, I guess. It's weird to say that. Auburn beating North Carolina in the semifinals and then Auburn winning the championship in. or oh, Auburn. Yeah, winning the championship. I don't know what the top says 31 37 when they won 41 29. Don't know why that's a thing, but whatever. Um, so all the playoff games are up to date now. Um, and that's what you, that's all it does. Some visual bugs still, but it's still really good for how hard it is to mod a game from 2013 or 14. I think it was 13. Anyways, now you can send your week in advance to the off season and start your next season and do everything like you want to. Um, that's my tutorial for, for the utility tool of, uh, cultural event. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. I'll try to help. I'm not the best though, so I'll be linking in the description, uh, link to the college football event discord and they have a thread. They have a channel in there for this tool's like support. Um, definitely check it out if you need help. I've asked them tons of questions. They've answered me. Very nice, very quick. Also, if you made it this far, just leave a like on the video, and if this worked, you can do that too. But thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out. It's helped me a lot, and it's really fun having an actual playoffs in my game, making it like more realistic and stuff. But yep, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Listen.